I'm Jenny and I am the very lucky mammy of three gorgeous girls, Jane, Molly and Anna. And we, I'm originally from Dublin and I work as a nurse. We have three gorgeous girls. So Jane is 12, just about to turn 13. And Molly is 10, about to turn 11. And Anna is set. But we didn't have any diagnosis prior to birth. Um, but we knew Anna had Down syndrome before we even delivered the placenta, so she was a very early diagnosis. Yeah, it was a big shock. It definitely wasn't on the cards as far as our family was concerned. Um, but, you know, she's changed our world only for the better. The first few weeks we were obviously involved with a service provider and we got some support from them at the time. We were very lucky we got involved with brilliant parents of other children that had Down syndrome. Um, so up until Special Olympics, we really only the only additional need that we were involved with was, was Down syndrome. That was fantastic, and we got a huge amount of support. We've we've friends now that we never would have had if we didn't have Anna, um, and they really are an important part of our lives now. Who's your favourite coach? <laughs> Deborah. Who? Deborah. Deborah. Deborah McArdle is a, a friend of a friend and she was starting up the Special Olympics Club down in Dunabate. Travelled down then on every Saturday to that um, and as part of that I got involved as far as I'm now coaching with them um, and parents were encouraged at the time because it was a new club to start up that we, were all get, we were, would all get involved in it which we have done and I couldn't tell you how much joy it's brought to us for, for, for both of us. Um, I've done a number of courses now and so I'm able to do coaching with the kids. I look after Anna in the competing hour with um, another about 16 kids in, in our hour but it's phenomenal um, and it's just a very special place as far as Deborah and her um, and her committee um, and all the volunteers that come in on a weekly basis it's just incredible and obviously because the kids are so small a huge number of volunteers are required mm -hmm. um, so from our perspective it's just it's great I mean, it's amazing going into special olympics and and seeing children with, of all different needs and um, but the brilliant thing about our club is that their disability goes as soon as we walk <laughs> through the door it's only what kids can do rather than not do this special okay. relationship that you have with kids i mean there's kids that found it so difficult for the first few weeks and Every week they come and they're improving every week and now they come in, they put your hand, their hand in your hand and you, you can't come out with a smile. You don't need the gym after it, I can assure you, that's your wreck. Do we love Special Olympics? Yes. Who's your friend in Special Olympics? Nessa. 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 Nessa and? Lucy, Lucy. Lucy, Lucy. Yeah. yeah, Anna has lovely girlfriends now, which she didn't have beforehand, and obviously that's hugely important now, but it will increase in the future for her um, to have that sort of friendship. It's very important that everyone tries to get involved in the local community and support the activities that are happening, whether that's by way of doing some fundraising and getting involved that way, um, or like Jenny does help out at the actual Special Olympics Club.